Hey guys, this is Big Swear, RoadToRuder.com. Coming to you from the greenhouse today. Um, hoping everybody in Florida uh, is safe and sound, alive first, and then uh, worried about their uh, houses and boats and cars, and it's a mess. Absolute mess. Um, it, it's sad when this stuff happens, knowing that the U.S. government has the power to steer storms wherever they want. They decided to steer this one right to the middle of Florida. Um, I would question our government about that one. Uh, but there's another one. There's another one right behind it that is supposed to hit Washington, D.C. Smack on. Uh, they're not even talking about it. It's called Hurricane Jose. It's maybe a couple of loops. And then I have this, this program, really cool program called uh, Ventusky. V-E-N-T-U-S-K-Y, that if you can see that there is their model for where Hurricane Jose will be next Monday the 18th. And that is right on top of, right outside of uh, Washington, D.C., moving up to Baltimore and New York. <laughs> so uh, we're not out of the woods. We're not even close to out of the woods. Uh, they've got another one coming, and they're steering it right towards uh, D.C. to, as I wrote in here, to fill the swamp. Since uh, Trump was not able to drain the swamp, it looks like they're just going to fill the swamp with water. Uh, and the East Coast has so many people that live there now. Uh, remember, the people within our government can steer storms. They've had that technology since... The 30s, the 20s, they were doing experiments on it, and they can do it using the harp system. Um, so for some reason, it looks like within a week we'll be going through the same stuff they just went through in Florida, except a little farther up the East Coast. And it sucks, and we should yell at our supreme leader, Mr. Trump, to take these guys down. They're, they're screwing with lives, and they're destroying um, everything. They're not destroying the stock market, though. No. Look at what was going on today. We have the biggest hurricane in Atlantic history, and the stock market goes up 262 points. How many times have we seen this? In the, in the gold and silver world, I remember in the 2000s, you know, there'd be a natural disaster, a catastrophe, and everybody's expecting gold and silver to spike up and the stock market to crash. And what do they do? They click a couple computer keys and boom, spike it. Right there is what Steve Mnuchin did in response to Hurricane Irma. So Hurricane Jose probably spike at another 500 points. And don't forget, you can't spike the – you got cobwebs everywhere. We can't spike the uh, stock market without slamming silver. So that's what they did to silver, knocked it back under 18 bucks. It wasn't a big slam because they weren't quite ready for that. This is insane. What they're doing to us is insane, and it's got to end. It's got to stop. Um Trump has been trying and hasn't been successful. Clearly, these three natural disasters in Houston, Florida, and the upcoming one will probably be the most costliest, uh, most costly in uh, Washington, D.C., through New York, in, into Boston. If they steer this thing right at you guys. Right now, you just have it on the uh, Ventusky, V-E-N-T-U-S-K-Y dot com. A great site. You can put the time forward and... They put their model together, and it, it has Hurricane Jose just circling around, and then all of a sudden, boom, right up the coast. Uh, it should hit D.C. by next Monday. So they're not talking about it on the news right now, but they will be in the next couple days. Um, they'll be saying, oh, my God, there's another one coming. Um, I think it was planned. This is a triple whammy. Houston, Florida, uh, the fires out west, probably going to be an earthquake out west also, so I'm preparing for that. Uh, all these things to destroy the U.S. dollar and destroy our system and destroy our way of life and our property. Amazing amounts of – the funny thing is the uh, insurance companies are up today. And you, you see all these pictures of all the devastation in Florida. Insurance companies are going to be out of business and their stocks are up today. Ridiculous. Um, but that's the way uh, they maintain confidence in the system is by rigging the markets and making you think, oh, it's no big deal. Yes, you lost your house and your boat and your car and all your belongings are waterlogged, but hey, the stock market's going to go up no matter what you do, so you're happy. It's ridiculous. It makes me ill. Um, but that's the life we lead. 
And uh, today I would uh, tell everybody on the East Coast to petition Trump, yell and scream at him, saying, tell him not to let them steer Hurricane Jose to the East Coast. Um, I don't even know if Trump has any power over these guys. Uh, clearly he couldn't do much in the, uh, the Florida situation, although the Hurricane I broke down just before it hit landfall, uh, supposedly on uh, near Naples. And that's where all the uh, damaging winds is the backside of the eye. Um, so maybe that was them mess, you know, trying to diffuse it. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, Hurricane Jose in Cliff High's data, uh, he says Jose is going to be the big one. He said the one after Irma. And w back then we were all going, what do you mean one after Irma? There is no one after Irma. And, of course, there's this little tiny Jose that starts churning in the uh, – in the Caribbean, right outside the Caribbean, and it's, it's doing circles right now, literally. And then it, when Hurricane Irma moves through, it's just going to draw Hurricane Jose right to the East Coast. Um, and again, if you run this uh, computer model, this is the uh, Monday the 18th. Is It's right off the coast, uh, headed right at Washington, D.C. And it, obviously the red is intensified. The red and the darker colors uh, over 100 mile an hour winds. So that's what you got to look forward to on the East Coast. Um, I don't know if it's going to shift to the left. Hopefully it'll just shift to the right and stay offshore. Remember, they can steer this. So they're either going to, I just think they're going to steer it right at uh, Washington, all the way up the coast. Uh, another few hundred billion in damage. And try to keep their game going by printing more and more money. Uh, so what do you do to prepare? You... Get enough food, get enough water, get your neighbors together, uh, be prepared to live without electricity for a while. That's what Floridians are living with right now. Uh, I think it's 6.5 million people with no electricity in Florida. And they'll start getting it back up online, but it takes a long time. It will be weeks before some of these people get their electricity back. What do you do without electricity? Um, I highly recommend getting a, uh, a solar-powered generator. Uh, but it's kind of too late now for the people, obviously, in in Florida. There's no deliveries going in. Um, but just enough to, you know, it keeps you online, keeps the information flowing. Uh, at least you can, you know, watch. Uh, your computer will work. I don't know if the uh, other parts of the computer system in the area will be up and running. But they usually get the the major things up and running first. And then they go neighborhood to neighborhood trying to get everybody's power back on. Uh, we'll see what happens in uh, Florida. I wish everybody in Florida the best. Um, and if you live on the East Coast, go to this website, vintusky.com. Vintusky.com. And it's very easy. It shows all the wind patterns. And you can run the model right now. It shows uh, the Hurricane Irma dissipating throughout uh, Atlanta and, and Georgia and things like that. But click a week ahead or, or two or three days ahead and you will see Jose that has been doing kind of like circles in the Caribbean start to move towards the East Coast and then just run right at Washington, D.C. And it ha in this model, it has it right about Washington, D.C. one week from today. So uh, make your preparations. I hope that uh, the, this model it is doesn't work. But it, clearly, when Hurricane Irma went through it's going to pull everything that was behind it because it you know it, it leaves that void Irma goes away and then there's a void behind it and Jose is going to run right up the backside of Irma and yeah the, the projections are uh, right at the east coast uh, again Cliff High's data said it's not Irma that's the major damage it's the one after it um, I think the one after it's going to be Jose or maybe there's another one brewing I don't know uh, but yeah if you live on the east coast Make your preparations. Go buy batteries. Go make sure you're not in any storm surge area, especially because this thing's going to be coming literally uh, right in, right behind, not the same path because it, it's a little higher up. So the, all the models have it going to right, um, right below Washington, D.C., and then kind of skirting the coast all the way up the East Coast. That's where the majority of people who live on the East Coast are. That's where their houses are. That's where they live, right on the coast from D.C. up to New York. Um, well, it's not over. I guess that's the, the name of this video is uh, 
Irma sucked, but Jose is going to be, a, could be, possibly a lot worse. So buckle down, bear down, uh, batten the hatches, and then you got economic chaos coming right behind that. So uh, we're in for it. And, and I have no doubt at some point they're going to throw a little uh, earthquake at the, the West Coast. So I'm ready for that, as ready as you can be for earthquakes. Um, but I wish everybody well in the United States and uh, keep a stiff upper lip. We're going to get through this. We're going to take these bad guys out at some point and then uh, let the chips fall where they may. This is Big Swear, RoadToRuda.com. Uh, don't forget to go to the website. Check out the private road. I've got all the cryptos, crypto news you need to know what to invest in for the long term. Uh, Bitcoin's not going anywhere. Uh, those who say, oh, China's going to ban it. No, China's embracing it. They just wanted to slow it down a little, which is what they did. And Bitcoin, we've been through this a million times. Actually, it's over 100 times for Bitcoin has been declared dead. So anybody telling you it's in a bubble or it's dead or whatever, just laugh at them and keep buying your Bitcoin. Keep buying your Ethereum. Litecoin is an amazing buy, Litecoin. And then I, I have a whole bunch of other ones on the website, uh, roadtoruda.com website for private road members. Go check them out. And we'll talk to you later.